The New Colossus is an entertaining but ultimately uninspired sequel to 2014's excellent Wolfenstein The New Order. The New Colossus, rather than a step forward, takes a step back, offering fewer guns, a shorter campaign, or too few new enemy types, an anticlimactic ending, and worst of all, game-breaking bugs riddle the PC version. That's not to say The New Colossus is a bad game, it's not. The shooting is excellent, the story is the exact amount of bizarre and over the top you might have expected, and the game looks beautiful, is that it doesn't expand on the foundation built by the New Order. It doesn't develop promising mechanics like the melee, nor does it present as many interesting environments. That amalgamation between Nazi and American culture we were so excited about, it doesn't figure too much at all. I wanted to see more of the American way of life in that culture, the New York post-apocalypse level are overdone, oversaturated in every which entertainment industry you could think of. Playing through the concrete corpse of New York did not appeal, it was more of a chore than anything else. Not all of it, of course, I'm particularly fond of that one moment when an alligator tried to bite my feet off. <sighs> Those are worthy of remembrance. Shooting Nazis really is fun. As always, I wish there were more weapons to do it with, though. The laser guns from the moon base from the last game have disappeared completely. I do not appreciate. I don't get it, I don't understand it, and I loved it to death. If you need any proof of that, you can check my review for The New Order. Shotguns are still great, though, and so are all the other guns. They feel great, they sound great, and they are fantastic. But I said that already. It's a strange thing. Having enjoyed shooting Nazis and having enjoyed about two-thirds of the story, I was still very eager to finish it and never look back. It could be the dour mood of Laskowitz for the first half of the game, if not more. Is that he was ready to die at the end of the new order, like he had his time in the spotlight, and that had been enough. So there he is, the poor bloke, dragged back to fight the same war as before, and none too happy about it. Ignite revolution, they said. It's going to be great, they said. So why is the game spent in saving a group of rebels, or two, instead of going after that revolution? At a time when a TV adaptation of The Man in the High Castle does such a spectacular job of showing a similar society under the yoke of fascist Germany, why doesn't this take a few breaths in between all the entertaining shooting and Nazi sniping and boring sewer tricks in order to present a more wholesome view of the diseases of this society. Show us ideology, show us something to know what we're fighting against. As for Blaskowitz's backstory, I don't think it was awful, but it was unnecessary. His father is the perfect example of a small-minded monster. He is the kind of man who'd surrender his Jewish wife to the Nazis after terrorizing her for the entirety of Blasco's life. Screw that guy. Good on you for shooting him dead, William. The problem is, way too much time was spent in this and not enough came of it. There are more interesting ways you could go about capturing Blaskowitz and his hatred for the Nazis, his ultimate disgust for their ideology, than having his Nazi pig of a father betray him in the most trite, obvious, unexpected way. It takes something away from Blaskowitz's character to not have expected that. Don't you even get me started on the ending? The game should be getting ready to start that revolution finally. And what happens? It ends! Sequel bait is fantastic, isn't it? Absolutely freaking great! Originally, I intended to do a full review of the game, play it twice, collect everything I didn't get through my first run, but once I was done with the new Colossus, I didn't want to go back. Spending 10 hours sifting through footage, going through all the gameplay and story didn't appeal to me enough, and it's a shame, because a lot of work has gone into this, but the new Colossus comes off as stale and uninspired, and treads the same old roads in a shinier package that comes in less flavour. If flavours are guns, which they probably are, for some weird gun nut out there, do not shoot me, I can because I don't care. One last problem I had, that Hitler scene. You got B.J. Blaskowitz in the same room as the old syphilis-riddled brain-addled Führer, and you don't take the opportunity to shoot him? What the hell?
And worse yet, you don't kill him while scouring the Venus Nazi base either. A worse mischaracterization of a Nazi killing badass I have never seen. And remember, don't lose your head, kids. Not everyone's as lucky in the friends department as Blasco is. One could say, this game decapitated my hopes. <laughs> Don't do the same. Click that like button and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, click that and like button. Let me know how you disagree with me on a fundamental, religious or moral level. Share with your friends. Maybe even follow me on Twitter and on WordPress. Hell, even on Facebook, even if I never, ever, ever post anything. Bye!